Saki here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a little first impressions and mini review of my new Louis Vuitton Papillon BB. I actually asked you guys on Instagram to pick a bag for me to use for a week and I will show you what is in that bag. And coincidentally, a lot of people actually asked me about this Louis Vuitton Papillon BB. I guess there aren't very many videos on it. And it is a style that I feel like is kind of coming back because, you know, like all the 90s trends are coming back and I do feel like this is definitely a retro style. I've also only done one video on this where I just unboxed the item and I believe I did either show a little bit of what can fit and a couple of watch shots, but I didn't really go in depth of like everything that can fit. So I thought I would do that for you guys today in case you were interested in this new bag that I got. But before we get started, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I do monthly giveaways on this channel and I upload twice a week. All of my videos are always on luxury and handbags, so if that's your sort of thing, I think you'll really like it here. All right, so let's just talk a little bit about the Papillon BB and how it's been working out for me. A lot of people in my unboxing video said that they really liked this bag, but they thought it was too small, and that's one of the reasons why they weren't going for it. Personally, I don't find this to be a mini bag at all because of how much it can carry. I feel like this may look like, you know, a Chanel mini or some bag of that sort, but it can hold so much more. And also because the bag is so, like, soft and malleable, and because of the way that it's shaped, I just feel like it can fit so many things way more comfortably than most small mini handbags. I also do want to mention the fact that mine is a brand new style, but they've been making the Papillon BB or the Papillon bag for so many years. And I do feel like the general size and shape remain the same, although maybe like the handles are different or maybe there's not a strap or something. You'll have to do a little bit more research on that because I'm not exactly sure about all of the vintage styles, but I do believe that most of the things that I'm saying in this video in terms of like what fits and stuff could apply to like the older styles as well. All right, so this is the Louis Vuitton Papillon BB from the summer 2021 collection. It came out in two colors this year, this pink color and also like a yellowy beige color. And I do believe that that one still might be available, although this one seems to be sold out like pretty much everywhere. I bought my in-store for $2,680, and this is an all-leather bag. It's an emprunt leather, and the color is called Rosebud. Although I do feel like it's really, really close to the rose ballerine color that they do sometimes. It's just such a beautiful um, light pink shade. The strap, of course, is fabric, but that's like pretty much the only uh, fabric in the bag. Oh, and plus the inside, of course. I think the inside is like microfiber lining. So just general thoughts on this bag. Like I said, I do feel like you can fit a lot. I've also really, really been loving it for the warmer weather. This strap might not be like everybody's aesthetic, but I do feel like it is a great strap because it is adjustable and I've been able to carry it crossbody or on the shoulder. Mostly I wear it actually really, really short, more of like a um, crossbody like belt bag sort of style. I think that it goes really well with this chunky strap and it looks really like fun and sporty for summer if that makes sense so I've been wearing it with like a lot of denim and maybe just some of my like more casual outfits like you guys know I love my pleated skirts and stuff like that and I really do think that this matches with that kind of style. A lot of people also said that it looks like a mini duffel bag or mini gym bag which I just think is so cute. Um, so yeah, I think that's probably why it also gives me like those casual vibes. A couple of things that people always ask me when it comes to bags like this, how is it with color transfer? Like I said, um, I've been wearing it with like denim and stuff and honestly, I haven't seen any like color transfer or wear and tear yet even though I have been using this bag pretty consistently but that just like is the emprunt leather. If you guys know Louis Vuitton, emprunt leather I think is really great. It's so durable. It's pretty much scratch resistant. I mean, if you do get in there with a sharp object, Object, you can scratch it. I've scratched my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse before in the past with like a keychain and stuff. But honestly, even if you're not so careful with it, it's a very, very durable leather. Um, so I haven't had any trouble with like scratches or anything like that. The only thing that I can see is that there is a little bit of wear 
um, on the like piping over here. Is it called piping? I don't know. There's just a tiny bit of wear right here. I think when I set this back down because it doesn't have feet or anything, it does like rub on whatever you're setting it down on. All right, so let's just open the bag and see what I've put inside. I think you guys will actually really be surprised at how much this thing could fit. All right, so the zipper is pretty easy to open and I do feel like the opening is really wide as well. So that's why you can also fit a lot of stuff in here. The shape of it seems really misleading because you'd think that because because it's a round shape it would be really structured and like kind of hard to fit things in but it's not like structured at all like as you can see it's really really malleable so although it is round it's not like a circle bag where you like can't fit you know rectangular objects or anything it's just I don't know what it is I think it's just because the fabric is so squishy or the leather is so squishy that you can really um, put uh, so much stuff in here all right so the first thing I'm going to pull out is my card case that I just got from Chanel this is my camellia card case it is in the new color pink the next thing I'll pull out is my little um, comb slash mirror thing. You guys have seen this in every What's in My Bag video. I need to carry one of these because my hair is so um, wild and unruly. Um, all right, so the next thing I have is my oil body sheets. My face gets so oily, especially during the summer. And recently I've been carrying a little bit more makeup with me just because the mask situation. So now that like, you know, um, food establishments are opening up for like indoor dining and stuff, we have been eating out a lot more which means I have to change the way that I do my makeup because um, I don't know if you guys have watched any of my vlogs um, during quarantine but when I wear my mask what I tend to do is only do my eye makeup and then leave the rest of this like you know clean and blank they don't do any of the face makeup because you never have to remove your mask but now that you know we are eating outside and stuff now I don't want to just like remove my mask to eat and it just looks like on the bottom and like the top looks fine so I've been carrying more makeup to retouch like the um, bottom of my face a little bit all right the next thing I'm gonna pull out is my sriracha I actually have been carrying it in a little plastic bag recently because um, you know I've just been a little bit more afraid especially with all of the newer bags that I've been getting I know this is always a controversial topic in the comment section but you guys I am carrying it in a plastic bag now so please stop complaining <laughs> All right, next I have a little dongle um, that just attaches a USB port to a USB-C. I use this for my phone and my laptop. And then I have a receipt. Oh, where is this from? Oh, this is actually from Zara. So we have one Zara here in all of Colorado, and it's always so busy, so I never, ever go. But I finally went because there are a couple of tweed pieces and, like, pink pieces that I did want to pick up, and I'm so excited. I'm going to show you guys in a haul video um, coming up in the next couple of weeks. All right, next I have my key holder. So this is just the Louis Vuitton 6 ring key holder. All right, we just have a couple of more things in here. I have a couple more makeup bits. I have the lipstick that I'm using. This is the um, Liquid Lipstick Urban Decay Vice in the color Rocksteady. They don't make this lipstick anymore, unfortunately, but I think this is the best liquid lipstick on earth. Next, I have a eyelash glue, um, a concealer, an eyeliner, my um, hand gel. This is just a bath and body one. I just love this size so much. It can go in any hand bag. And these are so useful. Next I have a little granola bar. I've actually been having to carry snacks with me everywhere I go because all of a sudden like I'll just feel super hungry and I'll start to get like the shakes or whatever. So I don't know why that's been happening to me recently but I do have to carry some sort of food or snack with me in case that happens so I can bring my you know blood sugar up or whatever. All right so that's pretty much everything inside the bag I do just have the like little tags that came with the bag and I put that in the little slip pocket in the back but because the slip pocket is like rounded like this I don't feel like it's a great place for like credit cards or anything like most um, bags are but I do feel like if you want to keep receipts or any sort of papers you can definitely keep it in the back if you want but it is kind of hard to grab if you are like stuffing this all the way because it's like all the way in the back I don't know I just feel like it's a little bit useless but that's okay so yeah the bag is now empty oh I do um, have something in this little coin pouch somebody gave me a good idea to put my airpods in here so I have been carrying oops it's actually also really nice because I do use my earpods a lot at work and um, you know just when I'm out and about and I just want to listen to music so it is a great way to keep them separate from everything else in your bag all right so as you can see I was able to carry a lot in that bag I mean I 
recently did a Chanel comparison between my mini square and mini rectangular bag and I definitely couldn't fit as much as I could in this bag in those tiny bags so yeah like I was saying although it does feel like it is very small it can fit so so much so if you guys are interested in this bag and you're worried about that please please don't be although I didn't have it in my bag my cell phone actually does fit in here I have the giant um Samsung Note 20 Ultra so if this phone can fit in here any size phone can it's just that um if I do put it in here I do find that it's kind of hard to take in and out especially with all of the other stuff that I have in here and then I wanted to show you if a um like continental full-size wallet fits and unfortunately it just doesn't I don't even know who uses like these full-size wallets anymore I just feel like they're a little bit obsolete unless you're one of those types of people who likes to carry this as like a tiny clutch bag as well but yeah it just definitely does not fit inside of this bag all right so that was all for my video what did you guys think um what are your opinions on this bag have your opinions changed or anything on it now that you know like how much it can fit I personally, like I've been saying through this video, love it, so I highly recommend you guys check out this bag or find a vintage one. And before I go, I just wanted to remind you guys of May's giveaway. For the month of May, I'm giving away this Hermes Twilly perfume. It is such a beautiful light scent. I think that everybody will love it. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is leave this emoji in the comment section down below. You also do have to be following me here on YouTube and on Instagram as well. Please also leave your Instagram username if it is different from your YouTube one so that I can find you if you do win. This is just my way of saying thank you for watching my videos. You can comment in on as many videos as you'd like only for the videos I've uploaded in May and I will choose a winner at the end of the month. And yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye! I told you. I'm not yours anymore, no, I'm not yours, so why are you trying to hold on?